Paul, a draw against Northamptonshire, three draws in a row now. What are your thoughts on that performance and, and the result? Well, we did some really good things in that game. Um, slightly, slightly frustrated uh, with one or two things. Certainly, first innings, I felt that we let them get 299, where realistically, 210, 220, 225 would have been more realistic. We we created some brilliant chances. The ball has balled beautifully. Mohamed Abbas, again, in the first innings was world class. Chris Wright balled beautifully. Deserved six or seven wickets. You know, we dropped way too many chances. Um, you know, you can't drop seven or eight catches uh, and, and expect to dominate games. So, um, you know, we should have we should have held our chances or more of them and you know, we'll be looking at 220, 230. Then we get, you know, close to 300. We've got a nice lead. We're bossing the game. Uh, a little bit of time out with the weather because of the rain, obviously, frustration as well. Um, takes time out of the game where we've got to look to, to bowl them out again cheaply uh, and win the match. So, you know, really, really a lot of good positives. Hassan Azad again played beautifully. Um, a nice little opening partnership with Paul Horton against uh, a couple of good new ball bowlers on a pitch that did, that did, did plenty with the new ball. So, some positive there. Mike Cosgrove played beautifully. He got a, a nice 60 odd, played nicely, dominated when he was in there. Cosy back to his old self. Um, and then frustrated. And it just fell away a little bit in the middle order. We didn't, we didn't um, get many partnerships going, and, and probably fell short. Ideally, we'd like to get, you know, over 300, get the extra batting point, and then play positively, try and obviously put them in again, um, 40, 50 behind in an ideal world. And then, um, you know, you you ball them out for 180 or just under 200, and you have a fantastic sort of hour and a half, two hours to uh, to get the runs. But um, wasn't meant to be. But um, some good, some good positives. You mentioned the, the bowling and the fielding in the first innings. Obviously, it was pretty much perfect bowling conditions. It was overcast, it was gloomy, it was dark as well. So, are you slightly disappointed to come off with having conceded 299 runs? Um, with, with fielding being a big part of that as well. Yeah, you couldn't ask any more for the bowlers. They created chances and they asked questions. Um, we bowled great lengths, very good brave lengths. Um, and we just sadly didn't back it up. We, we dropped too many catches. Um, you know, things happened in a split second. And, um, you know, yeah, well, it is a bit gloomy for, for batsmen. It's tough as well for fielders. You know, it's dark as well. So, uh, but, you know, as long as we keep working hard, you know, people are only human. As long as we keep working hard in practice and our preparation's good um, and our mindset's ready for the chances to happen and expecting those to happen, then that's all we can ask. Um, you know, and, that, and that's important. We keep driving it. So, um, yeah, disappointed that we, uh, that we that we shelled too many um, to win a game with 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 the rain around. We missed quite a lot of time, and then dropping those chances. Then it's always going to make it difficult to boss a game. And you mentioned the rain now as well. Obviously, losing day two completely, uh, losing extra twelve or fourteen overs as well on day three. How frustrating is that? Yeah, very, very. Um, you know, we want to come here. We, we believe man for man, we're, we're a good side, uh, and um, we know that we could boss this game. Um, and um, you know. It's almost a slight advantage coming away from home these days with the, with the advantage of, of doing what you want if you want to if you want to ball first on a, on a slightly um, green wicket, which it was you know a groundsman to even get pitches is a great effort in this time of the year where the weather where the, where the weather's been. So um, we knew that it would go through with the new ball. We knew it would seem. Uh, we had to make inroads. Uh, we did early, um, but then again, you know, letting them get two nine nine just um, it was too many. And Hassan Azad again came out and put nine to two runs on in the first innings. I think his average over. The past three um, innings is 300 and something ridiculous like that. Just running out superlatives for the lad. He's been incredible since since he's come in. Yeah, delighted for him. You know, one of the nicest men in the game. Um, and again, he wants you know he wants mastery of, a, of his trade. So he's a guy that you know he's working on different areas of his game all the time, uh, which is wonderful. He's a great uh, asset for the club uh, as a human being, not just as a cricketer. So um, you know, great lessons for him as well. He yeah, yeah, he admitted that he was thinking about another hundred. Uh, and mother cricket comes in and, uh, and and just kicks your backside, doesn't she? So um, yeah, but great for Haas. You know, he's a, he's a, he's a driver uh, in our in our team. Um, he's, he's full of runs, full of belief, full of confidence. Uh, such a level individual, which is what you have to be in, in professional sport and in life. Um, so yeah, you know, just delighted for him. Uh, he works hard and he gets his just rewards. And there's a week off now until um, the Durham fixture. They, they come off the, the back of a good win against Sussex uh, today, so they'll be going into the fixture full of confidence. How are you approaching that one? Yeah, well, Durham, have, you know, they've been under par uh, 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 this year so far for a decent side. You know, they did well in white ball cricket last year. Um, you know, nice to see Ben Rain, our old partner, uh, doing well today. He's got a few wickets and Ned Eckersley got a few runs. So uh, please, it's the, the old foxes did that, which is which is great. Um, but yeah, you know. We, we, 
you know, we're going to have a nice rest now. One or two little niggles, middle of the season. Nice to have a bit of rest for the guys. Mike Cosgrove's got a little bit of a tight back. Ahmed Abbas has been struggling a little bit with migraines, one thing or another. So a little bit of, bit of rest there for him. Guys can do some active recovery. One or two going away, get themselves away from cricket for a, for a few days, which will do them good. Come back fresh. Um, next week, next Thursday, uh, sorry, next Friday for a white ball practice, thinking about T20 already, so we're going to have a really good practice session in the morning and then hopefully a bit of an inter-squad game in the afternoon and then back to red ball again against Durham, uh, the practice before Durham, so doing our preparation for that. So yeah, we're excited, looking forward to it, getting back home again uh, and, and uh, having a good performance for our home crowd.